Today in Georgia, Donald Trump sat down for a town hall with an all-female audience. They would have asked me to appear, but they didn't want everyone fainting. <laughs> of course, Kamala also wanted to do a town hall with just women, but her staff couldn't define one. <laughs> After banning pub crawls due to public complaints, people are accusing Prague of becoming a nanny state. Did someone say nanny, asks one man. <laughs> According to a newly revised FBI stats, violent crime in America has actually gone up, not down, as Democrats claim. Kamala Harris is now promising that if elected, she will ban math. <laughs> Reports say Donald Trump may work at a McDonald's during a campaign stop in PA. Meanwhile, Kamala will also spend a day at a job she's never worked, vice president. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. According to a report from the Public Interest Legal Foundation, hundreds of Arizona voters allegedly registered to vote using strip clubs, abortion clinics, and high schools as home addresses or as Hunter calls it, great places to meet babes. <laughs> According to a new documentary, Christopher Columbus may have been Jewish. Yeah, instead of searching for a new route to the Far East, he was only looking for a restaurant that's open on Christmas. <laughs> And finally, a Disney World cake shop is under fire for having prices that start at $22 per slice. You mean I have to spend $220 for dinner, asks one man? <laughs> All right. Why not? He loves it. All right. So Border Patrol agents are vowing that they're going to leave in droves if Kamala wins in November. This follows the earlier endorsement of Donald Trump by the Border Patrol Union. Strange, you'd think the person labeled the border czar would have had this endorsement all sewn up. She should have been a shoe-in, like me for best abs at the Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> I got robbed. Truth is, all these Border Patrol officers fleeing their jobs will be joining a herd of others fleeing their life's work because they know the Dems don't want them doing it. It's mostly men fleeing traditional male jobs, cops, firemen, teamsters, jobs that often involve serious physical labor or upper body strength. You know, I never realized it before, but upper body strength is kind of sexist. I guess God was a misogynist. Wow, that didn't work. <laughs> Bottom line, those who go into professions like these do it for the mission, not the money. There's not a buttload of Border Patrol whose other car is a Lamborghini. And if you take that mission away by denigrating the work they do, you can expect a rush for the exits that you usually see at a Jets game by the third quarter. <laughs> and the Dems are wondering why they're doing poorly with men. Well, you can try not labeling their central purpose as evil, Maybe less redefining and more respecting? Stop saying they're whipping people when it's just Larry Kudlow. <laughs> now, what if the teachers or nurses unions made a similar statement that if Trump were elected, they would walk off the job? Can you imagine the level of media hand-wringing, screeching about Trump not valuing the work of these heroes? And yes, I know there are male nurses and teachers. They're always hitting on me. <laughs> And they're female cops and firefighters, too. Although I would prefer it's a man who carries me out of my burning apartment, preferably Ryan Gosling. <laughs> but whatever your gender is, I respect you for doing these jobs. I don't want to do them, that's for sure. You think I want to run up a flight of stairs into a burning building to grab my bodybuilding trophies? That's what personal assistants are for, and I'm going to wait in the limo. Thank you very much. But we need these jobs, and the Dems need to stop villainizing them. How demoralized does the Border Patrol feel? Well, according to the Washington Examiner, they've lost more than 4,000 personnel since 2020. That's almost 20% of their workforce. Meanwhile, police departments nationwide cannot recruit or retain their headcount. It's the hidden version of defunding. Tens of thousands of cops' salaries have been saved because they never took the job to begin with. They made it a job Americans truly don't want to do, like working for Kamala Harris. 
She's lost more employees than the Titanic. Wow. Cr frankly, <laughs> frankly, it's a miracle any cop still shows up for work. AOC must be skipping down Broadway with her bodyguards, of course. Thanks to no cash bail and other criminal coddling reforms, arrested perps are back on the street before you can say, hey, where the f is my wallet? But imagine that whatever you do for a living is every day undone before your day is over. I think my writers can relate to that. But what would, you, what would that do to your morale? How must it feel to stand out on the southern border under the baking sun, trying to guard the nation from illegal entrance, only to be told that you're the problem? Remember this gem from Kamala? Listen, I think there's no question that we've got to critically re-examine ICE and its role and the way that it is being administered and the work it is doing. And we need to probably think about starting from scratch because um, there's a lot that is wrong with the way that it's conducting itself. And we need to deal with that. Hmm. Now, to be fair, she is a moron. <laughs> but. I feel dirty, and I should. But the entire agency charged with handling cartels and other migrant criminals is, in Kamala world, what's really illegal. Maybe that's why Customs and Border Patrol had 15 suicides in 2022 alone, forcing them to hire their first suicidologist. I think The View had to hire one for all of those men working their cameras. <laughs> but that's what happens when the mission loses its value when you're not only told that the work you believed in is evil, but that you've been the bad guy all along. And yes, generally, that means guy, you know, as in those evil monsters with the Y chromosome lumbering around among us. So the Dems in the media can try to redefine masculinity all they want. They could pay actors to play real men for Kamala all day long, but it's failing, because no matter who wins next month, the real truth is, Real men and real women know how much we need Border Patrol officers, and men like them. The truth is, we can't do without them, unlike Kamala. Period. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She knows polls and crushes Democrat souls. GOP strategist Aaron Perini. He does his back-to-school shopping at the pawn shop. Comedian Rich Voss. <laughs> The FBI put her on the pregnancy watch list. New York Times bestselling author and Fox News contributor, Kat Tim. And he brushes his teeth with a street sweeper. New York Times bestselling author, comedian, and former NWA World Champion. And I see this trend among these male-centric unions all either not endorsing Kamala, which is an endorsement, or endorsing Trump. How does this uh, affect the race, if it does at all, oh, Republican expert? Yes, well, it, fall, it flies in the, the notion that a lot of the media puts out there, especially the left-wing media, that these union types, these blue-collar workers, that these are hard and fast Democrats. We have seen a shift within the Republican Party, especially within the last 10 years, more toward a blue-collar worker mentality. So the, while the leadership of these unions might say that they are for Democrats. The rank and file members break very hard toward Republicans, and those numbers continue to come this way. Mm -hmm. When you see the vilification of Border Patrol agents by Kamala Harris, who has never apologized, when she said that they were whipping migrants at the border, mm -hmm. she akin that to slavery in the United States. But what has she ever done to actually turn around and tell the agents, I'm sorry, the work you do matters to this country? Democrats, this is just one example of how flippantly out of hand they treat hardworking American people. This is just one example of what they think of everyday American people. And so all of a sudden, they're shocked that these people aren't going to matter, that these people aren't going to support them in the election. Mm -hmm. And in an election this close, where it is going to be dozens of voters in small, a small number of precincts across the country that are going to make the difference, them insulting rank-and-file voters, them insulting blue-collar workers, them insulting the people that stock the grocery store shelves or protect the border, it's why they're going to lose. Mm. Oh. Rich, are you, are you oh. upset that she took all your talking points? Whoa. <laughs> Here's the difference of educated and me. Uh, <laughs> the difference is, and I don't know why I'm dressed like Stallone from Rocky IV, but, <laughs> you know, nobody's leaving 
their jobs. And, you know, Rose O'Donnell, if Trump's elected, I'm, I'm leaving the country. OK, well, get on a cargo plane and go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who's going to who's going to miss you? Your barber? And, he had, <laughs> and, and like I had a blowout fight with my wife. Right. And you know, and, and I said to her, I go, leave, move out. Here's one hundred thousand dollars. And she said, that's not enough. <laughs> and I realized Never make your final offer first, OK? Yes. <laughs> That's the thing. No one's leaving. No one's going anywhere. Oh, I'm going to leave and go where? To Uganda? Where the hell? You know what I mean? Yes. Just shut up and stay. <laughs> and, uh, but you know what? They're not leaving the country. They're leaving their job. Let me, let me put it this way, Rich. You're a comedian. What if they hate, what if you every, well, you're used to getting, <laughs> okay, what if after every night of work, people tell you you're awful? I would stop having my family come to shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, listen, I, what I do, I do well. I'm not, you know, listen, I deal with, with club, you know, mm, yeah. crazy club owners. I yeah. go, well, but, Look, they're not going to leave their job. They might deal with it different, mm -hmm. but what? Oh, I'm going to leave and start a new occupation at at 47, 52. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just whatever. I I don't get it. I don't okay. get. It. And the border. When Trump, uh, you know, he was going to build a wall, mm -hmm. which I was selling catapults in Mexico, so <laughs> that business failed. <laughs> And it's time to move on. No, we're gonna, <laughs> that wall's coming back, Rich. You think so get your catapult business ready. We're going to send you back there, even though you're not really from Mexico. <laughs> Kat, um, it seems like uh, there, we talk about this gender gap. It's women don't want to vote for Trump. Men don't want to vote for Harris. Right. Which one's worse? Do you care? I don't know that either one's worse. Mm -hmm. I think that it is interesting. What's interesting to me about this is that she is even trying, it seems, to present herself as a tough on the border person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, th that's Trump's whole thing. Yeah, it's so much his thing that there's people who don't feel that way, and that's the main re one of the main reasons why some people don't like him, even though public opinion has shifted in that area, which is why she's doing it. But that's so much his thing, I don't know why. If you want to talk about fighting with somebody, it's like, have you ever, have you ever been in a relationship where you know, like, you're fighting all the time, but at one point you'll f*** up so bad mm -hmm. that you're like, it's not even worth fighting anymore, I'm just done? Yeah. I'm surprised that she hasn't kind of taken that point of view of it yet. Yes. Because you're really going to think that anybody who's like, you know what, I, my main thing is I'm really tough on the border, and that's why I'm voting Kamala. That's not happening. But you know what? May I be sexist for this one moment? Oh. Uh, women never give up. <laughs> the women never give Like, you, 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 what you said is, like, I, when I do, I go, OK, I just give up. But I've never been in a fight with a woman where they've actually given up. <laughs> they, po they postpone. Well, that's. They postpone. Yes. And they bring it back for a later it's date. For the rest of your days. Yes, thank you. Bye. My, well, that's maybe the, the maybe. last, the last fight mm -hmm. of how and my wife, I, she flied across the sky on a broom and it said, "Surrender, Richard." Okay. <laughs> if she's bothering to fight with you, that means she still cares. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If she yeah. doesn't, then she, she's, she won't do that. Mm. All right, Tyrus. Last word to you. I, I was so insulted by her sitting in that chair, having absolutely no knowledge of what she was talking about. Mm -hmm but still had the, the temerity to talk about how bad ICE was. I, right. That with no actual anything to back it up. I've heard things. Like, I've heard things. You were so unfit. <laughs> I don't understand. I could, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I miss Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and this, I do. No, I do. Because even though I didn't agree with how any dare of her you? I don't agree with any of her policies, but I understood, I, I know she was gonna lead. I might not like the direction, but she can lead and she can speak. And if at least she would know this, she has absolutely no idea what she's talking about. And it's, and it's so disingenuous. There, this, like I said, I was, on, I was on TV today on Fox. I said, if Trump doesn't win, I'll shave my beard. Like I have, I have this election is not close. This behavior. <laughs> You know what? I, it's not the beard that makes this go, just so you know. <laughs> but the, the point is, is that she's so uninformed. To, to Kat's point, 
to where she will arrogantly be like, oh, I've always been on the border. Like, we have not been here drowning in your word salad, your dry world word salad with no sauces at all, Kat. <laughs> uh, I will join you. If Kamala wins, I will shave my back. <laughs> But right now, it's just one big furry driveway. <laughs> Park it any way you like. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Does it matter? Up next, Kamala Fretz. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.